Assalamu alaikum. Tarbiya TV's live coverage continues. I am Hanan Ali and I'm your host for tonight's live newscast. And we are just getting the word that the property purchase agreement has just been signed. We have Malaika standing outside Tarbiya's conference hall for details. Malaika, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Hanan. Malaika, what can you tell us? Yes, Hanan, I'm standing out here at Tobias Conference Hall. Property agreements were just signed a few minutes ago. Hanan, I want to tell you that this is a very exciting time. Everyone here is overjoyed. This is a historic event, mashallah. This is a very pleasant feeling that our masjid, our playground, and our school will soon beco become community property, inshallah. And we can all use this to build our community. Back to you, Hanan. Now the president of the UAW is saying a few words to the audience. On behalf of the UAW and local MA 389 in Washington, New York, Delaware, I want to welcome you to our community. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Please. As you said, we've had many members call up and announce his pleasure, but we're not like that. The United workers, especially in Detroit, Michigan, all the way down to all the states have Muslim members and communities, and we're family. Okay. And, and I want to be family, and it's a, this is a historic thing here in the United States, in, in Delaware especially. And I welcome you all, and when we sign this thing today, um, although we're going to be separate properties, we're going to be family. And there's nothing that he can ask for that we can't do to help him. Or you all. So, welcome. Thank you. you are now looking at the live video of the property purchase agreement signing. President of the Union of Automotive Workers, UAW Local 1183, is signing the agreement. And now the president of the First State Islamic Foundation, Dr. Salim Khan, is signing the agreement on behalf of the Muslim community. In the background, you can see Mr. Vance Funk IV, the attorney representing our foundation in this agreement signing. Wow, mashallah. We are pleased to present you with the check for the purchase, and here it is. It sounds as if Mr. Funk is making an announcement to waive his attorney fees. Our attorney fees are on us. It's not going to be an additional cost for you. We'll take care of that on our very happy to be a part of and being able to help in this process for you. Thank you very much. Now let us take you to Dr. Shahnawaz Khan, who is the treasurer of the First State Islamic Foundation for the fundraising report for us. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Khan. Wa alaikum salam. Well, Hanan, I'm just pleased to announce that, uh, you know, we have accumulated 90,000 on last fundraiser, which we did at the time of we did the signing ceremony for the deed. And uh, so far, the goal was $950,000. And uh, last year, we met our goal of $350,000. Uh, and uh, with combined 90000 that we uh, collected from the last uh, uh, fundraiser, uh, it brought us the total up to $440,000. However, we still have to reach our mark gold for $950,000 which we need everybody's support to continue support basically to to get there for our kids. Um, during the deed the signing ceremony we also found out that our friend and lawyer Mr. Vance Funk had also told us that he's going to be waiving all the attorney fees which I think um, is going to help uh, with the whole overall picture uh, for the buying of this uh, property project. Back to you, Hanan. MashaAllah, this is great news. We have Razana Kiel, Miley Adams, and Abdullah Muhammad giving us more details of the property. Assalamu alaikum all. Wa alaikum assalam. 
Roseanne, can you tell us more about this property? Oh, Hanen, this is exhilarating. I am very happy our elders are thinking ahead and buying this property. We can learn, play, and practice our Dean, alhamdulillah. And then, let me take you and our viewers on a tour of this property. Let's start with the most popular part of our school. Yes, the playground. We have three different playgrounds that we use for various games and activities. Right here is the most popular playground. This is very popular among the young children. As you can see, we have swing sets, we have jungle gym, we have monkey bars, we have a playhouse. It could only need one more thing. A sand pit. Yes, we have a sand pit. You can imagine how young children love to play with sand. Back to you, Hanan. That was great, Roseanne. Let's go to Abdullah to see what's going on in Tarbiya's multi-court play area. Our multi-court play area can be used to play games such as basketball, tennis, volleyball, and badminton. Right now, the students are not here because it's raining, and it's not recess time. When it's not raining, it can be very fun to play with. On weekends, parents and adults usually play in this court. Back to you, Hanan. Abdullah, I know for myself, this is a great playground. Let's go to our soccer field where Miley has been waiting for us. Miley? Yes, Hanan. This is a large playground, but we are not buying it yet. But we do use it for games that need a large open area. I'm hoping that our trustees will buy this property one day. Inshallah. I think that we can make this field into a soccer field, a cricket field, a football field, and a baseball field. Insha'Allah. Back to you, Hanan. Wow! Masha'Allah, that is amazing. I only wish we can complete this purchase as soon as possible. Then we can continue our high school here as well. Now we have Abdullah inside the masjid giving us a tour of the masjid. Behind me is the masjid. Um, there's plenty of shelves full of books, qaidas, Quran translations, and much more. We have all five prayers, including the Juma and Tarawih. During Tarawih and Juma, they are, it, the masjid is very, very, very crowded. Back to you, Hanan. That'll complete tonight's live coverage. This is Hanan Ali signing off. Assalamu alaikum.